In this video, we're going to learn how we can make our dancing videos more fun and more intense using some simple effects on Filmora. It's to make our moves stand out and get an overall awesome effect. I went ahead and imported my video onto my project and now we're going to drag it onto our timeline. Let's zoom out from our timeline by pressing this minus. Move the playhead forward in time somewhere where there's nothing so we can duplicate our video. Copy and paste the video so you have two of the original. And now we're going to select this duplicate, head over to effects, and just search for pixelated edges. This is the effect that we're looking for. Download it and we can just drag it onto this duplicate video. So now we're going to get these lines on the edges of our subject. Now drag this video with the effect. The affected video has this little icon underneath. Drag it right above the original video. Double click the video, head over to Video Basic and then go to the Compositing section and we're going to change the blending mode into Difference. Select the drop down menu and then come all the way down to Difference. So now we're only getting those outlines and not our subject. Basically this blending mode is going to only keep the difference between these two videos. Both of the footage have the dancing uh, people in it, but the top video has these glowy effects. So when we change the blending mode, we're only going to get these lines. Let's close this menu and then go to the next section, which is effect. Over here, you can change the color. If you're not happy with this yellow, you can just simply click on this right here. Choose one of the colors or hit more where you can just go for a more precise coloring. You can go for any that you like. I will go for a color that will look good as a neon outline. So for me, it would be a nice pink color. Once you've chosen your color, hit OK. Make sure your opacity is still 100. And once you're finished, hit OK. Now we're just going to export this video. Hit export and name it based on the color so that it won't be confusing. Pink lines. And just export the video with the default settings. You don't want to change anything up. Once you've finished exporting that video, we want to repeat this multiple times so we have different colors for our final result. To change your color, just go back on that top video, double click, head over to effect and just change the color right here. When you're choosing your new color, you want to make sure that it's not similar to color A and that it has good contrast with color A. So if you're choosing red, you can go with green. If you're choosing pink, you can go with cyan, which is what I'm going to do now. I chose pink for my first color. Now I need to choose cyan. Hit OK. And now I have this result. Hit OK and then we're going to export this once again for our second video. I went ahead and did this a third time with the color white. So I have cyan, pink and white. You can choose your own colors. Just once you finish exporting them, you want to import them back into your project. So we have our original video and the three colored lines. Now we're going to put these on top of our original video so that we can get that effect of neon colors. Select the top video and just delete it. Hit the trash icon right here. And now we're left with the original video. Drag all three of your colored lines on top of your video. But now the problem is that we can't really see what's happening underneath this top layer. So what we need to do is to change the blending mode of all these new videos. Double click on each one, go to video, basic, compositing and change the blending mode from normal to screen. And now we can see the blue line and the white line. They're kind of blended in together. Just repeat this for the other two videos. And now we can see our original video. But instead of that plain video, we have these neon lines that are surrounding the edges of our subjects. Now we're going to make these videos even more neon by adding a glow effect. Head over to the effects menu and just look for glow. Drag the glow effect on top of all of the exported videos. Make sure that the original video remains untouched. We don't want any effects onto this track. 
If you'd like, you can go ahead and lock the track so that you don't accidentally put an effect on top. Now with the glow effect, you can see they're looking a lot more cooler than they did. Double click, video, effect, and this is what it looks like without the glow effect. And this is what it looks like after. So it's making it more vibrant and more detailed. And that's exactly what we want. You could go ahead and work with these settings, but I like to keep them the way they are. It's looking pretty good, but if yours isn't, then you can just work around with these settings. You can work with the radius and the opacity. Make sure the opacity is at 100, but you can work around with the radius and get a result that you want. I will stick with the default, which is 10. Once you're finished, hit OK. I'm going to bring these back. And now let's go ahead and organize these with some other effects so that we can get a cool result. I'm going to hide the videos for a second and just mark out the parts where I want them to show up. Use your playhead to move forward. And right when she's bringing her hand up, I'm going to bring in these videos. So right over here, I will hit M on my keyboard so that I could get a marker. Move forward, and once again, when she brings her hand up, we're going to get rid of these effects. Hit M again, and now you have two markers. For the rest of the video, we're going to use different elements. Now let's unhide the tracks, select the first marker, and then all three videos. So hold down Shift, Video 1, Video 2, and Video 3. Hit the scissor right here so that you can split them into that section. Turn off Auto Ripple, and then select all three videos that are on the right, and hit the trash icon. Select the second marker, and we're going to do the same thing. So we only have this section where these glowy lines are appearing. So right over here where she's bringing her hand up again, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. So we have Effect 1, Effect 2, and Effect 3. Head over to the Effects menu, AI Portrait. I'm going to use this effect right here. Drag it right on top of your video. And now we're getting these lines around our subjects. You can see it's already neon, so there isn't much that we need to do. Just double click on this effect and customize it to the way that you want. You can choose a different color right here, select it once, choose the colors that are available or hit more, where you can just choose the perfect color for your video. Hit OK and now I have green lines. So now we're done with effect A and effect B, let's go for effect C. Now in the same effects menu, we're going to go down into AR stickers. And this time we're going to look for an effect that has glasses. You can go for any other effect that you want. This one will look the best on this type of video. Drag it on top of your video and it's going to put these sunglasses around your subjects. This is optional but you can go ahead and add a filter to bring all of those effects together. Go to the effects menu, filters. I will go for this effect in the Instagram menu. Drag it right on top of all the other layers and it's going to add this purple hue on top of the effects and therefore making them look even more neon. You can of course double click and lower the opacity if it's too much. I will bring mine down to 59 and this way my colors will look even better. And now we're left with this video. We added these neon effects and those dance moves are now looking excellent. They look a lot more cooler and every motion is now emphasized by those neon lines. Now let's work together and create the same style. 